Hi guys, Mr. Griefers Creepers here, and as you can see, I'm trapped. Yeah. There's a door, some signs in front of the door, let's have a look at the sign. So to open the lock, find the combination. I assume these holes in the wall over here, nine of them, maybe you put something in. Let's try the chest. Okay, so there's some sand in the chest. Maybe I have to put these in a particular order to open them. Let's try all across the bottom, see what happens. Nothing. Let's let's try up there. Has that opened it? No. Let's try vertical. I can't reach. Well, it can't be there because I got. Oh no, I can. This. Is it that? Didn't sound like anything. I hope I can get this block back now. Yay! Um, let's try one here. Give me that block. And one here. Oh, yeah, we're out. Well, as you can tell by that <laughs> rubbish acting there, um, I've built myself a little combination lock to open doors. And by little, let's go game mode zero. Game mode one, sorry. There's not much to it. So basically the idea is you place three blocks in one of those nine holes and it'll either open the doors or keep them closed. So should we take a closer look at how that works? Okay, so for starters, um, I've got a hopper clock here. Uh, if you don't know what a hopper clock is, um, I learned from a wonderful YouTuber called Dragnoz. I'll um, put his video, his um, YouTube channel in the description so you can go and have a look. He's fantastic. He's helped me through so many things on here. <laughs> um, so out of the hopper clock I've got a comparator running into a repeater and then there's three options here. So the three locations sand has to be to open the door. So we'll just have a look at one of them. So it tests for a block. It tests for sand and it tests for sand in uh, the X, Y and Z location of each of the holes in the wall. So obviously this one is the bottom left, yep, middle, 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 and this should be bottom right. Yes. Okay, so if that test for becomes true, it powers this comparator, powers a repeater, and it turns off this redstone torch, which in turn turns off all of this dust above. So with that dust off, it powers, it turns on this redstone torch, which turns on this repeater, which then places redstone torches at here. So two command blocks, two torches, which opens the doors. So if I go and take one of those sand blocks out, you'll see the doors automatically close themselves. And now you can see that because this um, test for block command is now false, it's turned off the comparator, which has turned off the repeater, which has turned on this redstone torch, which is now powering this redstone dust above, which turns on these two command blocks, which replaces the redstone torches underneath the door with just air. So that's how that works. I'll um, take you through quickly how to um, build it yourself. Okay guys, so the plan is, if you were to place sand here and here, I would create a redstone torch here, which would open that door there. Okay, so let's get to it. So first off, we're going to need the hopper clock. So I'll give myself quite a bit of space here. Okay, we'll start about here. So to build a hopper clock, we place one side of the hopper clock down, and then we move to the side, hold shift, pointing towards the hopper clock, click again. This makes the funnel at the bottom point towards the left. So we delete that one, and we do the same again. So shift and point towards the other, right click, and now you can see the joint in the middle there. Okay. Put any old item in it, it doesn't really matter in this case to do that and then with a comparator you'll see we get a redstone signal out of it so if you were to place a lever on top of it and then click the lever it will stop the redstone um, from powering okay so now we've got that going we're gonna need to get a repeater and then we're going to break this into 
two sections here and we're going to place a repeater here and a repeater here and this is going to go into two command blocks okay so we're going to want it to be test four block here F3 to bring up your coordinates um, so excuse me while I write this coordinate information down so that's minus 838 I'm uh, 839 I'm doing I'm writing this into a notepad off screen if you're wondering what I'm doing so y is 4 and minus 418 is the z okay so now we move on to the other one okay now we need to do a test for block command so if I just bring up this here we can see the test for block command so you can see it's slash test for block at the coordinates we've just taken and then it's the um, block sand so if we go and place these over here so I've got this um, copied so I can just paste it now and now we need to alter these so it's 839 for minus 418 test for sand and then same in the other one 837 4 and minus 418 okay so if now we send a comparator out the back and then a repeater just um, now let's get some sand so if we play sand here and here it turns on both things yep yeah, so that's working excellent now what we do at the end we'll get some sandstone run it across here and we'll get a redstone torch and we'll place the redstone torch here and here and then if we build up we can then build the top layer so like this delete this here excellent okay and now we can put some redstone dust across the top so that's powered on which means this will be for hiding the redstone torch if it was um, in there so let's get the chisel sandstone place it there put a command block there and now if we run over here we can have a look at this code so this is um, the slash set block so that's um, slash set block and then it's the coordinates x y z and then the block we want to place there okay so if we do copy and then come back over here and we paste so this needs to be at this location here so I'll delete that for the minute stand on it excuse me oops once more while I go off screen to write the coordinates down okay so that's minus eight three two um, it's going to be up one from here because we want to place it on a block so we won't be four it'll be five and then the Z is minus four one eight okay so now we can place this chisel sandstone back we can go here we can paste and um, enter in the correct coordinates so that would be eight three two five and four one eight okay so that'll place air so we can delete that block there it's so not needed okay so on the end of here we want a torch so because this is powered on it's turned off this torch and then we're going to place some chisel sandstone and then a repeater there it is same again some sandstone and then on top of that we put the command block okay so we can delete this bottom layer and then if we run over here we're going to get the next set block command so this is set block slash set block slash set block <laughs> uh, the coordinates x y z and then this time we're putting a minecraft red torch down so copy that come back over here paste enter the coordinates once more so that's eight three two five and four one eight and we're placing a red torch so it's the same idea that if this test for command becomes true it will turn off this redstone torch which will 
turn off this redstone dust which will make this redstone torch turn on which will power this to place a redstone torch under the door otherwise it's as it it's in its current state which is with the redstone torches on powering the redstone dust above which is just placing air in between underneath the door sorry so if we come over here and we place two blocks of sand one two there you go we've got the dust uh, the torch underneath the doors open if we get rid of one it does the opposite and closes the door so guys that's how my combination lock works I hope this is helpful um, if I went through anything too quick please let me know in the comments um, I'm glad to help as much as I possibly can if you did and if you did enjoy this and you do go ahead and use it please let me know um, please leave comments like subscribe if you did enjoy it and until next time guys I'll see you later. Episode three. Is it 12? No, no, it's definitely three. It's definitely three. <laughs> uh, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not too bad, yeah, I'm not too bad. <laughs> uh, today we're going to make...